It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey folks, today I'm taking a look at Dino Twist. Dino Twist here is a very simple card game in which you are playing cards to populate your island with the best dinosaurs and try to have the most points at the end of the game. Uh, let me show you a brief overview of how the game works and then I'll tell you what I think of it and who I think it's good for. Here we go. Here's what the game looks like set up for four players. Each player here has one of these graveyard cards and seven playing cards. And then this is the island at, at, at which we're going to be playing cards and collecting these dinosaurs and putting them in our own island. Up here we have some bonus uh, cards and you are pretty much ready to begin. The game is going to last 10 rounds, which we are going to keep track of by uh, flipping these cards and each one affects the current round somehow. So for example, in the, fir in the first round here, these dinosaurs will get plus three. I'll talk about what that means. But just be aware, once we hit the last card, well, it's, it's game over for us and the dinosaurs, apparently. You are going to have cards in your hand. They look like this. And on your turn, you are going to simultaneously with everybody else play one or two cards from your hand. And so I'm going to play this card and then I'll just have the three other players play randomly from the top of their deck. And then we reveal them, okay? So this player played a 7, I played that red 4, this player played that blue 10, and this player played that green 8. And now from the lowest number to the highest number, we are going to take a dinosaur from the island that whatever we're playing can beat. It must be the same type, so this can take this card or this card, and whatever I played must beat whatever I'm taking. So the four will handily beat this one. I will leave the four there, and the one goes on around my island card in the same position of the one I just took. And so imagine, I'm just gonna you know pretend this is in front of me elsewhere on the table, then this card would go here because the card I took came from that spot. The card I, uh, uh, I removed it from this island there, I'm putting it here, okay? And so you're going to be doing the same thing, building around this card, just like these here, all right? And so I did that, and I'm scoring my card there, and then the seven is next. This player could take this or this. They'll take this one here, and put again the one on that spot around their island, and then the eight, very conveniently we'll take the 7 and put that around their island and then this 10 which you again would probably not play but I'm, I played randomly could take one of these two and put the one around their island everybody after that would um, now we can we can get rid of this one and so this round is over everybody after that is going to draw back up and so everyone gets one card from the draw deck and we play the next round. So as you can see, the game is going to be very quick. And we do it again. Of course, now, people are going to try to go for these juicy cards. The 8, the 10, and the way you get something that big is by playing more than one card. So for example, you can play one or two and that's it. I could take that 10 down there by playing a 10 and a 2 together. That's 12. And when I take that, I'll put it in that position around my island, but I only leave the weaker card of my two. So that's a pretty sweet move, because I just stole ten points. But the next player can probably, can only pick up that two, because this one's gone and discarded, okay? So that's the way the maneuvering here works. Whichever player first puts a dinosaur in every spot around their island is going to get this plus ten card, that's ten victory points. Second player to do it will get plus five. Third player to do it. And at the end of the game, whoever has whoever has the most of these claw symbols on their dinosaurs, as, as you can see on this card here, they're going to get plus seven. These special cards do a few different things. As you can see, this one gives plus three to the red ones, meaning when you play from your hand, your play is plus three. 
So with a 2, if I play a 2, let's say, it's as though I played a 5, I could take a 4 with that, okay? This one adds plus 2 to every play, no matter the color. This one cancels that specific spot on the island, meaning no one can take that card this round. This one lets you play for this round three cards instead of only two. And there's a few different ones. There's actually 25 of these cards and you only use 10 per game. So there's some variety that way. Once the game is over, you add up all the dinosaurs around your island. You add up one of these bonuses or, or two of them if you have them. And uh, you win the game. The only other thing I have not explained is this graveyard card. The purpose for that is uh, on your turn, if you cannot win any of these dinosaurs, then you can bury a couple of cards and draw replacements. And at the end of the game, every card that's uh, every card that's here is worth two victory points. And the other way that they end up there is if two people match exactly. And so if I play a uh, a blue, let's say I play a red eight, and this player plays a red eight exactly then we will both just bury those cards, not grab anything, and draw back up at the end of the round as, as per usual, okay? And so that's pretty much it. Have the most points around the island, try to get some of these bonuses. Uh, sometimes you're, you'll get victory points for buried cards, and the most points is the winner of the game. So as you can see, a very colorful look to the game, very whimsical look. The gameplay is short, it's a quick game. Mechanisms are pretty straightforward and you know have some simultaneous card play, but that's pretty much it And so ultimately I think this is a great game for families That want to play together with the younger kids in the family say five six years old something like that You all want to play something together. Maybe they like dinosaurs Then this is a solid solid game for that setting the first time I played it I played with uh, seasoned gamers pretty much and the game kind of fell flat I think we were going into it expecting something else. I'm not sure why, because it sure looks like a kid's game, right? But, you know, we kind of went into it and thought, huh, that was just okay. But the game I've played since, and I think it really does work well with non-gamers or with, uh, with kids. The uh, artwork, like I said, is stunning. The production quality of the game is stunning. The cards, the finish on the cards, the whole package really is very well done. And so I got to recommend it. If you have a kid in your life and he likes uh, dinosaurs or uh, you want a, a cute filler game, something that plays very quickly, has some simultaneous selection, a uh, little bit of uh, outthinking the other player maybe and the numbers you play, then I got to recommend you check out Dino Twist. I like it uh, and I think it, uh, it could have a place in a lot of collections that are looking for this kind of thing. So check it out. Dino Twist. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.